Uh, this is a note on making uh, making a chart, uh, raster navigation chart in a BSB format using uh, using image cap. We have another way to do it. There's a, it's a lot easier. This is a way to give us a little more control over the header file that goes with it. But uh, if you just want the chart itself, it's a lot quicker to use a Weatherfax plugin of OpenCPN. But in any event, we want, we're gonna, I'm going to illustrate it both ways. But in any event, we start out by opening the chart. I'm going to be making, uh, or the sample here is make converting one of the training charts um, um, that are no longer printed, but the images are archived at NOAA, so we can download the images. And this one is um, uh, 13205TR, Block Island Sound. And uh, so we open that chart up first um, and then just get some information from it. First, the number yeah, 13205TR. We want the, the soundings are in feet. It's mean, low, or low water. Th this is just affecting what the header says. doesn't affect the chart production. And then we need to know um, the scale, 1 to 80,000. A 1 to 80,000, and it's, a, it's a, a North American datum 83. And the soundings are in feet. Okay, so that's what we need to get. Oh, no, it's something else here, too. Um, what we need to do is go in the chart and read off the latitude the latitude and longitude of these corners. So this is like um, 72 degrees 15 minutes uh, west and uh, 41 degrees 21 to 3 minutes north. So read this off of the corner, or actually, let, let's say we just do this corner and the corner down at the bottom right. So read those off and write them down on a piece of paper, and we're going to use those uh, to calibrate the chart. So that's that part. Now, this, this procedure, again, you have to follow the instructions that are in the, um, in the uh, video description. It says where you get these files and uh, some other details about it. I'm just going to illustrate it now. But we're gonna. This is a pr program we use to calibrate the chart. This one makes the header for the chart, and this function here, image cap, puts the two together to make the cap file. Cap is a part of the BSB format. Um, so we run this cap file. Now this cap file program. Uh, let's see how that's going to work. Uh, it's a uh, if it fails, you have to almost reboot your system because it doesn't close itself up properly. But um, so let's uh, go ahead here, file, open image, and uh, we want PNG images, PNG. So there's a PNG image of the chart. Um, so you have to, you may have to, con the, the, these are stored as JPEG, so you're going to have to convert them. Uh, to that. So this thing is running now, and this is actually going to take about three minutes. So I'm going to pause this, and it's going to look, see, it's going to look ugly. It says not responding. Pretty soon this will turn all white and things like that. But yeah, I'm going to come back in three minutes. Let's see if I can do this right. Pause. Okay, I'm back here. Uh, so this finished. It's about three minutes. And then this is what pops up, this screen here. Now, it's misleading. The chart's actually in the background here. We can't see it because there's all that white at the top of the chart. But when you do normal things, you'll see a chart in here. Uh, and I, ju I just can't control it yet. But so you put in a chart name here. What's our name? 13205, 13205 TR. That goes there. Uh, the scale is 1 to 80,000, 80, 1, 2, 3. The projection is a Mercator. We're going to call this NAD 83. Uh, depth units are feet. The sounding data is mean, lower, low water. Uh, that's, I think, all we need. You could put other notes here, um, you know, training chart. not for navigation uh, okay something like that all right and then uh, that's okay now now we have to find the chart here so we go let's scroll down to Okay, so there's the chart. We're going to add a couple calibration points, but we're just going to do the corners for now. You could come back and do this. So you put this cursor right over where you want it, right click it, and say add new calibration point, and that's the top. Okay, lock. You have to unlock that. 
Okay, now go here, and the top left corner was uh, 0, uh, 0, 41, 23, and the, and the longitude at the top up there was uh, uh, 0, 72, 1, 5, and then that is west. So I have to put a west here. So 41 degrees, 23 minutes north, 72.15 west. Okay, that looks right. So now let's just go do the, you could put all four corners in if you want to, but let, we'll check it and see if it georeferenced properly just with these two. And then you come down here, put this in about the right place, right click it, add new point. Uh, then this one down in the bottom was a, uh, 0, 40, 40. I'm getting that from my notes that I wrote down by looking at the chart. And this was uh, 0, 71, 28. And then that again is west. Okay, so those are the two calibration points we're going for this time. And now you could put a border on it. I would just say show borderline. Uh, set border to image. Um, I don't know if we necessarily want to show the border line. I don't know. Okay, file, tools, uh, edit, file, that's it. We're done. Save, save calibration. Okay, that's done. Okay, so in principle, we're done with this program. And then these guys here. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Let me go. Here's where I've been putting things. So this is the program it just loaded right now. I mean the file. So that operation created this file here. So I could right click and open that one. Uh, open that with like a text editor. And you can just take a look here that it, the calibration points look about right. 41. These are now in decimals. Uh, uh, these are like the two pixels. The, you know, the pixels of the left top, top left corner, pixels bottom right left corner, and this is the latitude and longitude. That, you know, as best I can tell, that looks right. Uh, okay, so that's that. Now, the next step is we're going to create the uh, header file from this. And let's see, we only have this one chart in here, so that ought to be easy. Okay, so now what you do is you go down here to this and type CMD, and then that's... Uh, command prompt and then we want to do CD desktop and then enter and then CD what's our thing called here image cap IMG tab okay so now you see we're in the right place um, we're in the right place and we can now run this program here. And then I think all we need to do is uh, just do MC, that's uh, my, Map Cal 2. And then if you hit a tab, it'll write the rest of it in because there's nothing else like that. And then space. And then I think we only have to write chart dir, C H A R, that's good enough, chart dir dot, dot cal. And that's all you have to do. That trick of a tab, just if there's nothing else with those letters, it just takes that one. Then you set enter. Now that created the header file, that process. And this is then this header file. Okay, so this creates this header file right here, which we could look at with, um, uh, we again, I, you can just assign that to the notepad. And you see that's going to be, uh, that's, uh, that's a header file that's going to show up in the f f on the chart. I'll show you where. Okay, so that's done. Now the next step is we have to change the name of this file. So let's, we could try to do it this way. Let me just say copy and, and say paste. I'm going to make two of them. Now this one I'm going to rename. I rename this one and that's going to be uh, tr hdr hdr dot kap okay that's what that has to be like that yes yeah, say yes okay so now 
then we're ready to run the image cap and uh, let's see I think I lost my uh, command oh no here it is my pro okay so here's the command prompt CD uh, desktop uh, enter CD image cap file enter okay so now what we want to run is um, we've got to do the image image uh, image uh, cap where is that image cap so now we do I am G image cap space and now we put our file name 132 uh, okay we want that to be the PNG so you put uh, you, you put image cap dot exe space that now now uh, 132 that's a header that's not what we want we want that to be the one that says HDR dot kap let me check to see yeah so that's so um, we've got image cap we want the image and here's the header but they want a cap on the end of that for some reason okay then you hit enter now it's a pausing for a minute and let's see if that doesn't do the job bang okay apparently it did all right so I think then this is the map it just made so in that case and and we can look at this you can also do this open it and I've assigned that to notepad and it's a great long weird thing there is a sort of ASCII text up in front here followed by a bunch of see here's the ASCII text of the there's 100, 128 colors in the default system and then it just goes right into the code of the map so that's the way they look now um, we can see how that's going to look in an open whoops in open cpn you can just okay i'm back i i just wanted to move things around a little bit uh, to illustrate something so i took these two i took the one that we just made with um, image cap and that and that i renamed to 13205tr image cap dot cap and then this one's 13025tr wefax so that's the one i made with the weatherfax plugin so these are both up here now uh, this i can show very quickly it takes just minutes to make um, it's not the, the image cap is really very difficult uh, well you've seen what's involved I don't know if that's difficult or not but it's a it, it's a not convenient so anyway now here are these two charts but something is uh, let me go in here and view one of these now I'm oh once it's being viewed then it shows the data okay that's interesting okay so this is the one we just made with image cap and you see when you roll over this down here you get the right information it's 1 to 80,000 you get the units or feet NAD whatever so that much is right not that okay but now when we go to this one and we roll over this is now the other chart and you see now the writing on it it's got the scale wrong and the depth units wrong and the datums wrong uh, but the charts here's a, the important point these two charts are effectively the same if I look at this one and then say zoom in a little bit or let's say look at that okay there's that bay now that's this chart here we're looking at now if I click the same chart here you see that's Boswick Bay I it, it just the resolution everything else is about the same so if you can live with the fact that this has got this has got the wrong label on it then uh, these are a lot faster to make with the WeFax with the WeFax plugin that's in the OpenCPN. I'll show that in another video. But this is a process of doing it then with ImageCap that gets you a more or less correct header file. And in fact, we could put a lot more in that header file if we wanted to. We could edit that.